Well, hello and welcome to part three in my introduction to um, position vector and displacement vector. And as usual, is suitable for AS level of mathematics or mechanics one, and also for 11th grade math. Now, at the end of this exercise, there is another question for you to have a go at yourself without my help. I'm sure you can do it. Now, we are told that a lifeboat uh, L is or has a position vector 7 uh, minus 3. Now, as usual, in the actual question itself, this is not there. I'm only using this to help us to uh, clarify, um, send me to clarify what I'm doing here, and also to check our results uh, by calculation. So, this is L, and uh, that is 7 minus 3. Now, meanwhile, we've got uh, a, a ship located at position S sub i, and S sub i has got a position vector to 8. Now, meanwhile, the ship now moves position from S sub i uh, by, uh, by a bearing of 0, 060 0 degrees and distance of 10 kilometers. And we asked to draw a rough sketch and to calculate the displacement from the lifeboat to S, S sub F, obviously. So don't forget there's a puzzle at the end for you to have a go at yourself. Now, the displacement uh, L sub I is given by, um, as usual, if, you, if you've done, uh, if you had a look at parts one and two, you know that this would be given by the final position vector, which is two eight, minus the initial position vector, which is 7 minus 3. So we now end up with minus 5, 11. Uh, and we get uh, minus 5, 11 by doing 2 um, minus 7, which is minus 5, and 8 minus minus 3 will give us 11 there. So now, meanwhile, the ship now sails from S sub i to S sub f. Uh, the displacement vector is given to us by, or will be given by xy. And to find xy, we need to use the information given to us um, here, using this one here. So it's the ship sails at the bend of 0, 060 0 degrees and the distance is 10 kilometers. So we need to find x and y there. Hope that makes sense. Next, right now, moving on uh, from the last slide, we, we we saw this in the last slide. Yes, we need to calculate x and y. So x is going to be ten sine uh, sixty degrees, which is eight point six six, and y is ten cos sixty degree, which is five kilometers. So now uh, the vector s of i s of f is now eight point six six five there. Now we now need to find uh, L sub L S sub F, and to do that we need to add um, this displacement here, which is from L S sub I and S I sub S F. So do that, and that's what we got there. So that's this one here, L S sub I and S sub I S sub F. When that minus five plus eight point six, we get uh, three point six six. And 11 plus 5 will give us 16. And that is our answer. So that's S, that's L, S sub F. Or we can say that the distance from SF to L is 16.41. Because if you square 3.66 and add it to the square of 16, and then find the square root, you get 16.41 kilometers. Now to get a bearing, you do uh, 3.66 divided by 16 and then take the tangent. So S, S sub F is 16.41 kilometers from L at the bearing of 0, 0.13 degrees. Now here's the puzzle. Now we're asked to find the position vector of S sub F. Now if you had a look at, if you don't, if you had a look at past one and two, that should be easy to find. Okay, and thank you for watching and please, please subscribe and I see you again sometime. Bye-bye now.